Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to change the settings and explain the difference between each settings in your Blink doorbell uh, video device or Blink camera, you name it. So this settings will apply to the Blink doorbell, Blink camera, outdoor camera, indoor camera. So I'm going to do it on a, on a camera since that's more common than the, than the doorbell. Okay, so let's get started. This is how we do that. <clears throat> First thing you need to do is you want to open your Blink app. When you open your Blink app, you have all your devices. You could do it. You could do change the settings on your front, uh, like a camera device, or you could do it on your doorbell. It's up to you. You just have to pick which one you want. So I'm gonna just do it for the heck of it for the front door, uh, you know, uh, device. In order to change the settings, you see these three little bars. You click on that. Once you click on that, I'm going to explain each settings and what will happen when you change it and what the effects are. Uh, effects are. So right now, uh, you could change the name. For example, if I, I wrote front door blink, I could press that cross right there and change it to a different name if I wanted to. Now, since this is, a, uh, this is an appropriate name, I don't see the need to change it. And the monitoring battery status is okay. This tells you what your current battery status is right here. This tells you what the temperature is outside. Now you could change the temperature to Fahrenheit or to centigrades, depending what you want. So you could calibrate. You could enable temperature alert. Um, like uh, for example, if it gets more than 100 degrees hot, inform me so that I make sure my dog and my cats are in, inside the house. Things like that. So you could make give it uh, make it to give you an alert. Uh, program it to give you an alert. So uh, that's that. And then we have uh, motion detection. If you enable motion detection, every time there's a motion, it will start recording a clip and you get to choose. These, these are the things that are very important to know. Uh, trigger time means when there is motion, it takes 10 more seconds for it to be re-triggered. For example, if there's motion uh, in, in second one, and there's additional motion in second two, second three, second four, and so on, the, the camera will ignore it uh, because it will not re be re-triggered until till 10 seconds are complete. It will not be, this is good because it will save the battery instead of being re-triggered and re-triggered and notifying you again and again and again for an ongoing motion. For example, if, if, an ob if, if a person is moving from the front of the camera, it will take that person 10 seconds to move. So you don't want to be notified in second one, second two, second three like that. If, so 10 is good, for example. Now, if you put this higher, if I put this in 40 seconds, for example, if I leave it at 40 seconds, if someone comes in second one and steals something, and then uh, in the other 30, 10 seconds, someone else comes, the camera will not be triggered because the first trigger uh, that enabled it will la last, will disable the motion sensor for 40 seconds. So the lower number is good, the 10 is good there. Sensitivity is obvious, It's I mean, this is a no-brainer. The higher the sensitivity, the smaller motion will trigger the camera. This has to be set to the lowest if the camera is facing like uh, outside with uh, too many cars passing by and too many uh, trees with leaves moving and whatnot. That's why you need to set it to the lowest number because if you put the super sensitive, if you put it like at high, even when a tree leaf is moving from the wind, your camera will trigger and the battery will will rapidly finish. It's not going to make it to two years. Normally the battery is there for two years, but with, if you have the sensitivity at very high, the camera will be triggered so many, so many times that the battery will be drained out a lot faster. Remember that if the sensitivity is high, not only that the, your camera battery will, will, will be, uh, you know, ruined much faster, in addition to that, your cameras, uh, your Wi-Fi bandwidth will drop because more uh, video clips are going to be recorded, uh, uh, going through your Wi-Fi and being recorded. And uh, if you have the, uh, you know, on-site recording device uh, with a little, uh, you know, uh, unifying device with a USB flash drive, then obviously 
you don't have to worry uh, as far as the Wi-Fi is concerned. This one is the uh, clip length. Uh, 10 seconds I think is ideal, but uh, you could s set it up long. And now if this is 10, this is 10, you don't have to worry because uh, if after 10 seconds, after a motion is detected and 10 second clip is recorded, if the motion continues, if that person who was there is, is still there, not moving, I mean, not, didn't leave, then this will be re-triggered and another 10 second will be generated because the 10 second threshold reaches. So uh, there you go, that's what that is. Now, this is a no-brainer, and clip early if motion stops. So uh, I really don't want to trigger this because if you do this, what if that ongoing crime is being caught and a criminal could be you know freezing or moving slowly and you don't want the you know the clip to start you don't want the clip to be cut off and doing so will save your battery but it's not good for security reasons um, receive early notification uh, receive a notification as soon as motion is detected instead of after motion clip finishes recording so this is another thing you want the this is a no. I mean, it's a no-brainer. I think this is to be enabled as good because uh, the motion could last like like twenty seconds, and twenty seconds the culprit could run away before you're notified. So as a matter of fact, I'm going to enable that. That's that's a good thing. And uh, motion recording is on. Now night vision is good to be in auto because during the day it will turn off, and during the night it will be enabled. Now. Infrared sensitivity is medium. Um, the, this is also not sensitivity, I, I apologize. Infrared intensity is medium, but if you increase the infrared, the battery life will be shortened. Just for the heck of it, watch when I increase it. See that? See what it says? The battery life. That's the thing. Now, enable audio. Obviously, speaker volume is up. Again, more battery when speaker volume is up. Now, video quality. The higher the quality, the, the worse battery life. But this is not where you want to sacrifice. If your camera can get, uh, get a good quality, go for it. It's okay to, if you have to change the battery every year instead of every two years. Uh, at least you will have a good uh, quality of image if something bad happens, God forbid. So photo capture is enabled. You can capture a photo if you wanted to. And the LED status shows it's recording. You could turn that off. And, uh, you know, you can update the firmware, but this I'm not going to update because the last update was, uh, you know, like yesterday, for God's sake. I'm not going to update it again. So, uh, this, is, this shows the uh, quality of Wi-Fi to the camera, which is two bars. That's all right. I mean, it could be better. And this is the sync module, you know, camera to the sync module signal quality. This is only one bar because I have a relatively... In a bigger house compared to uh, the normal uh, houses in the sink the uh, the camera is far away from where the sink module is so I should have I should actually move the uh, sink module closer to the camera and the firmware version and this is where you could delete the camera if you wanted to now all the changes that you did you have to first do the changes and then and then click save that's where you save it and voila, that's it. My camera settings have been changed. And this same settings you could do for all the cameras that you want to, uh, you know, change the settings for. All right. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe.